Welcome to this review and unboxing video. Uh, Games Workshop very kindly have sent me a copy of Blood of the Phoenix here. So it's a chance to see inside this box and the orders that you get. Uh, very, very excited about this one. I uh, have a Drakari army and obviously the Eldar army as well. Uh, Games Workshop re-sculpting one of the Phoenix Lords and the Howling Banshees. So very, very exciting miniatures here uh, for any Drakari and then also uh, Eldar collectors as well. So, this release goes out with the book. Games Workshop release, that's the contents inside. So some of the regular units here towards the back. Uh, and then the new models here at the front. Jane Zarr, we'll take a, a close up view of the sprues and the miniatures here. The new Howling Banches, just a unit of five of those. Uh, the new Incubi, and then uh, Trezar Master of Blades as well. Uh, so, yeah, super excited. And I, Jane Zarr here, one of the Best new release miniatures, just in my opinion, beautiful looking miniature here, really, really nice. Um, so it may well be an excuse to try and start incorporating Howling Banshees back into my Eldar list. Uh, special thanks to Games Workshop for sending me a copy ahead of time. I usually get my Games Workshop stuff from GamingFigures.com, so you can check them out. They're the channel sponsors, uh, so check them out for discount 40k. And then other gaming systems as well, also available from them. But uh, what we'll do is we'll break the seal on this here and take a look at the, the contents. It's not just miniatures, there'll be like a, imagine there'll be a campaign book here as well. Usually these kind of sets are good value, so you're getting a lot of miniatures for a better price than if you pay for them separately, so it's another good incentive uh, to get a hold of these. So, take out the sprues, this is your Wave Serpent. Great model. Yeah, Games Workshop really needed to uh, excel themselves here because the, the Eldar range in plastic is superb. But some models are desperate need of an overhaul. And that's the Phoenix Lords is one of those chains are. Huge hairdo, as expected. Big enough all to be actually. <laughs> Pretty big. Nice sculpture back on the base as well. Um, I will just take the sprues out and then I'll zoom in here for you. Probably just show you the regular, or reg I'll just uh, show you the brand new sculpts here. So uh, a Viper here, don't really use those very much. Better if you use them for the same harm, uh, craft world. That's Drazar Master of Blades. That's the new Incubi models. 
cool. Okay, very nice. This is the benches. Uh, weapons for the Eldar tanks. Ah, that's your option if you want to go for uh, the Falcon option in that. Great. That's your Hellions. Just there for the Drakari Scourges. Scourges, Scourges, just here. Really nice kit, that one. Beautiful uh, models for sure in that kit. And then more of the weapon options here. I'm just going to equip your Wave Serpent. And then uh, your Venom. Which I may well uh, paint this one up here and put a third Venom into my Drakari list. So useful enough to have this one as well. Brilliant kit again. Beautiful uh, plastic models there available for the Drakari. So what I'll do is we'll focus in on the new stuff here. We'll zoom in and take a look at these sprues. So this is your Drazar Master of Blades. I love the the effort that Games Workshop put into uh, the base here. Beautiful stuff. It really makes it a lot easier to to paint. It poses the body model nicely, especially because these models are so delicate, Eldar models and so on. Uh, fixing them to a base and trying to do an intricate base can be quite hard. But here, uh, it's all incorporated into the plastic, which is brilliant. It just lifts the model up so it's head and shoulders above regular models as well, which is a great idea. Uh, and you know, really highly detailed basic, see all the Eldar runes on this ruin, this twisted sort of thorn bush here as well with the spikes on it, brilliant. All right. Yeah, the, the new plastic models coming out for Games Workshop, I, I don't, the, the reviews I've been doing in the recent months, I haven't found fault with any of them, uh, they're just all uh, superb results that they're coming out with here at the moment, so really are excelling themselves here at the moment, pushing the pushing the boundaries and uh, improving here all the time. Really, really nice, this one. So yeah, not in my Drakari list, but that may well have to change. It's an incredible model. I have Incubi already, so he'll fit in just nicely. So keep a look out for him, Try and maybe try and get him painted up soon. Then look at the Incubi models here. So there's the blade. That is long. A lot longer than the uh, lead models. Yeah, and I think the actual models themselves are a little bit bigger. And I was expecting that. It, it seems to be that Games Workshop is slightly upping the scale here for the 28mm, just slightly. And these Drakari models, I'm, I'm sure they're slightly bigger than the lead or resin originals. Just a tiny bit. But just bulking them out a bit more. They, these blades are very long. Yeah, way bigger than the previous ones. But nice, and plastic here, incredible. Loads of head options and so on, different horns. Yep, and now the, the Clavex, the the leader, the squad leader stands out a lot more as well, which is great. So this is here like a, a ruin, ruined thing here, that's interesting. If you use that as like a, some kind of objective marker, something could use up something. Any extra bits, like little terrain pieces that they add on, is a great move as well. Nice little features that they've added. Yeah, these heads here. See them shouting and screaming, and there's others here as well. Right, so if you wanted to, you could do a full squad of five bareheaded. Nice. May well match him with the colour scheme you're going for, or your painting style. But, uh, once again, superb set. Just flip it over so you can get a nice view here. Be excited about that. You know, for me to, if the, Jakar, the uh, Incubite models are nice, for me to then repaint them in plastic, they've got to be really good, and Games Workshop have done it. These are beautiful models. So I have a full painting tutorial for the Drakari. It's here on the channel. Uh, I'll show you how to paint one of the uh, Dark Elder Warriors. Uh, you can follow along step by step, it's a pretty quick and effective technique actually. Uh, it's going to be the same technique I'm going to be using for painting these up. Uh, if you like that style, uh, check out the Tactica videos and uh, previous battle reports. 
If you like that style, then copy that tutorial along. It's pretty straightforward and you get some great results from that. And then over on the Plus channel, there is an in-depth painting tutorial as well. Uh, and it shows you how to paint one of the Venoms, uh, one of the vehicles, sort of a larger project, and how to apply the same technique to that. But uh, that's them. So, yeah. Uh, it's done it again here. See this little bit of terrain, a bit of a ruin type thing you can use. It's interesting. Could you use them for something in the game? Some kind of marker, uh, like an objective marker or something like that. But nice touch there from Games Workshop. I love anything like that they add in. Little bonuses and extras are fantastic. But again, nice base work here as well. So it's going to match in with your uh, Jane's Other Phoenix Lord or uh, Drazar Master of Blades as well. A little bit of terrain incorporated into some of the standard models as well. But a real nice, beautiful blades here. Loads of options. Plastic, easy to convert and twist and move around as well. So you can, not that you'd need to, there's going to be so much variety in these. Look at all that you get here, just for a squad of five. Tons and tons of options. The detail there on the base. There's the executioner. Beautiful. Very nice tris scout. Nice scale on that, beautiful, look at the size of that thing, great. And then the helmets. Real nice. There's just an open hand there, no weapon. Nice. And the hair as well. Now I'd imagine these will look nicer painted up than they do in the photographs. As long as you get models and look okay in the photographs, and then when you actually have the models painted up, you can see them at every angle, they look even better. And I think that is actually going to be the case with these. Get some, probably get some really good poses with these ones. Loads of head options. Yeah, you can see this, like all the detail on the legs here. The pistol sidearm, belts and runes and so on. Yeah, really good. Yeah, nice work. So, a lovely set that. And then uh, James Zar here, the Phoenix Lord. So they, they, they stuck with a huge hairdo here, and from the pictures it looks sensible enough. I reckon they've kind of counterbalanced it here with these uh, here. These ribbons coming out from the sword, just something else that's flying around, swirling around. So they've, they've counted it that way. So not all the focal point is on the hair. So it's a clever move. Beautiful. Yeah. Now I mean this is. You know, vast improvement on the previous. Yeah, look at the detail on the base here. That helmet there and all the ruins and the shattered ruin. Incredible. Really nice. Quite a presence on the table. And the great thing about Eldar, you know, dazzling colour schemes, huge variety of colour schemes as well. So, yeah. I hope, I, I guess they're going to do this for all of the Phoenix Lords gradually. You hope they would. Uh, I don't know what time scale it is, I don't know what the rumours are, but uh, you hope they will, but um, good start here with James R. Fantastic, 10 out of 10 work on that one. Brilliant. So that's the kits inside from the box, then you've got a divider here. You flip it over, you should have, the usual here is to have the artwork. Yep, it's a nice bit of artwork, you could easily frame that, let's just stick it up. So they've put a divider then divider in the box for practical purposes, but uh, they put the artwork on there as well. So brilliant. Hanging benches against Trikari. Quite a combination. Quite rare. We've actually played that on the channel, so fun. We can get some games of that combination done. Yeah, it's always your clear plastic parts here. So your windows, Trikari should be one for the Eldar there as well. Should be two actually. I think the Viper has one. Yeah, one. No, no, just the one. Clear bases inside uh, the Eldar transfer sheet. And a second Eldar transfer sheet because you've got two vehicles. Large bases. Great. There's three of those. Yeah, one for the Venom. Okay, some Terminator bases. And just standard bases. There. Okay. Great. So then you get this inside here. 
different. Okay, so crack this open. So uh, you get your rules here. So you, you'll need the rules. Well, I, you could sort of play this without the rule book, I think. You've got your standard rules inside there to play a game of 40k. Uh, and inside here, you'll have your rules for the models from inside this box set. So you won't need codexes if you're going to strictly stick to these models. So yeah, you could just start playing with this set here. Uh, but any any kind of expansion at all, you're going to start needing codexes and uh, the rule book as well. Because uh, even the missions will be inside here also. So here's an uh, assembly guide first of all. So very, very clear instructions. Chains are first of all in the benches. Then uh, your instructions for uh, your wave serpent or falcon. Yep. Viper. Uh, Drazar Master of Blades. Uh, yeah, then a Trikari for your Incubi. I'm just looking through here, your Venom. Scourges. Loads of options with them. The Hellions there at the back. And then your, your handy colour reference here. I'll zoom in so you can see Jane Zara a bit closer. But it's uh, incredible model. Real nicely posed. You see the counterbalance here. Well, the hair instead of swinging out is swinging down and around, which is clever enough. It contains a bit better. And uh, then the ribbons here, nice counterbalance to that. So, really good. That's well worked, that. I was, I was wondering how it would come out, uh, but that's a great job. And then uh, the bench is here. Incubite. And then Master of Blades just there. And giving you a nice uh, selection of colours that you're. You could potentially use, I mean, this is a quite, pretty diverse here, but you don't have to use all of these, but it's giving you a good colour reference. Just that. So then the book here, Blood of the Phoenix book. Semi thicker card on the cover. So, introductions, can give you all the background story. Yep. Trikari, the Suriani, the serpent struck into shadow. Just go just there. Nice bit of artwork. Slender hopes. And death and faith. Details about the data sheet, so really give you an introduction if you're really new to the hobby and so on. Uh, Warriors of the, the craft worlds here. So, uh, for the rules, uh, check out the Phoenix Rising book, it's all covered in there. Uh, so you can check out that book for all the rules, points, values, uh, and all the other abilities that's included in that book. So check out that review for me to run through all the rules and so on. Uh, this is just to give you a, an unboxing video here, but uh, Vipers, Falcon, all the rules there. Uh, for those regular units, check out the Eldar Codex review that's already been on the channel for a, since the Codex came out, so that is available. Your Nari Handling Banshee Exarch with Execution, a completely different style on that one. Cool. The options are uh, great. Brilliant on that one. Yeah, it's a great options available. Yeah, very really nice. Oh, yeah, it's down seeing some of these poses for the Handling Banshees that look fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, the Jakari here. You can give you models in Hellions, Scourges, and Venoms. Again, check out the Drakari Codex review. It's already on the channel here for all the, uh, the lowdown on all of the units. Look at this one here. Great diversity here. It's a Clavex with Demiglaives, and then you've got this option. So, I mean, that is. Uh, Incredible. Yeah, so you really can uh, make these quite unique. Vastly different to that one. Same model. But you can go bareheaded, change weapons around and so on. But uh, fantastic, really good. Okay. 
So game rules and missions. You do get some missions in with the box as well. Swift as the wind. That's pretty cool deployment. Suriani deployment zone Drakari. Vengeful strike. That's the Eldar surrounded. Drakari on both sides. And then ghosts of the past. Bit of a showdown between the two HQs. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll go along with the narrative and the, the storyline here. Uh, so points values here for units, weapons and so on. A bit of artwork here at the back. So these two closing on each other. Brilliant. So that's the review. Uh, great box set, great value for money. Some amazing new models for both of the factions inside. So it's a brilliant way for updating uh, old models. Instead of, so I was thinking about this. If Games Workshop just said, all right, we're going to gradually reintroduce the Phoenix Lords, but no story behind it at all. It, it maybe sell a few, but it will be sort of a, a trickle, I, I think. But if they attach it to the ongoing story, then it's going to create more interest. It means it's worthwhile for Games Workshop to revamp these models. Uh, they sell more, uh, but it means they're able to take on these projects. So it's good for everybody. And it's great to see the Phoenix Lords, well, this Phoenix Lord here, and some of the other Drakari models. You know, ones that aren't in plastic. So Drakari and Eldar are in a similar kind of situation. Um, some classic characters and models for both sides, not entirely in plastic yet. So Drakari, fantastic range in plastic some models such as the Incubi and others not yet well, now they are available in plastic and then for the Eldar as well a lot of their aspect warriors you know, fire dragons striking scorpions uh, the howling banshees and so on uh, have all been in lead or metal and then resin and so desperately need to be updated uh, into plastic the same as the, the other box sets so uh, it's a great move for Games Workshop to catch up and get those redone because it is about time it's been a long time here those models the old phoenix lord models have been out for a long long time so uh, it's great to see them being uh, overhauled here so there it is that's the review keep a look out for more reviews on the channel check out gamingfigures.com for discount 40k thanks again to games workshop for sending me a copy ahead of time and i'm, I'm interested in both of these factions here collect both of them love them love all the new models so i'm going to have a go at painting them up and incorporating them into our future games all being well. But leave your own comments and feedback. What you think about the storyline, this box set, the new rules as well. Uh, leave that in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.